Hey guys, we are in the serious land of Edinburgh, Scotland, and we are going to tell you what to do with cleaning your Veramete jewelry. All right, hope you guys are ready. This is serious business. Now for silver, here are the instructions again, magically appearing in the land of magic of Edinburgh. For Scottish things today, we have delicious champagne. And uh, for you, I will sample it while you read. Not bad to you. Now, for girls who just want to have fun, the gemstones, cleaning instructions. I bet you guys get a lot of flowers, huh? And your jewelry, it needs to be rejuvenated, relaxed, and taken care of, you know? So do read. Now, if you're someone with acidic skin, just take some clear nail polish, grab a ring, put the clear nail polish inside of your ring, wait 15 minutes, pop it back on, and you are never going to have to deal with acidic skin ever again. Now, brass, it hates water. He agrees. But we have some secrets. Check them out. Here's some magical information about copper. Hey guys! Now if you're someone that likes shiny things but doesn't like reading, let me give you a couple quick tips. If you have an old toothbrush and some baking soda, you can take any ring and just really quickly shine it up with your baking soda toothpaste and your toothbrush and then wash it off and you're done. And if you're someone like me whose skin makes things more shiny, you're not going to have that problem. But if you want something to be a little bit darker, just grab your ring, put it in a Ziploc bag with a boiled egg that you've kind of tapped on the counter a couple times, and then throw that after it's zipped into the fridge overnight, and you should have an oxidized ring at the end. And also, if you would like to have your brass rings be super shiny, throw on a little olive oil. You can find more hints on verameet.com under questions. Now, thank you guys so much for visiting, and goodbye from Scotland and Veramy.